Welcome to Skill Header with the second part to secure and lock your database before publishing. We are going to reveal secret codes and tactics in this video so you can apply then publish your database. If you really like this video, please leave your valuable feedback in the comments section, like, and share. Such act will motivate us to bring in-depth videos for you. A folder contains the main secure database file, an HDDS named file, and a folder that contains icon and a splash screen image. Let's start the OpenACCDB file. This is the same file that contains some tables, queries, forms, and reports. Here are some extra macros and modules built to accomplish our goal. I will not type each code here because you will be provided the file with all source code. Let me explain in detail the purpose of each file. The first macro file named autoexec is an auto-executable macro function whenever the database opens. We will associate this macro function with the module named as startup later in this video at the time locking full menus, ribbons, and navigation bar. Let's see how shift key pressing will bypass the startup including the login form. Select the file, press the shift key and press enter. As you can see the login form has been bypassed. Here are both functions to disable or enable the shift key behavior. You can use this function with a button click event but the better solution is to put it in the immediate window. Simply press enter and access will recognize the function to trigger immediately while the database opens. Now once again I am selecting the database file and pressing the shift key and enter key to open. This time the login form was not bypassed means the shift key will no more work. Next, as you have experienced in the last video the objects other than tables and queries will be locked with ACCDE file format including forms and reports. Move on to make tables and queries permanently hidden. As you also know tables and queries are possible to hide from the navigation bar but anyone can import them from another database file. Actually, there are some hidden system objects and we will make the tables and queries hidden with the same pattern. Before proceeding further to hide the tables, stop here. We will not be responsible if you make your ACCDB file locked by using the functions described in this video. Please follow the instructions which I am using to save my master ACCDB file. Make a master folder which contains all of your open source ACCDB files. Copy the final version of the ACCDB to any other folder and execute all the functions to lock down your file. Do not make changes into your copied file if necessary because it will not reflect into your master ACCDB file. So always make changes to your master file, copy it, execute all locking functions, and convert it into ACCDE. I am calling the function from a button. You can make a separate form for all the lock functions to trigger. I will not save the form this time. Close the database and open it again and all the tables will be disappeared permanently. As you notice the objects are enabled. If you enable hidden files, tables will not appear either. Database without tables? It is not like that, all tables will work perfectly. Move on to hide the queries now.
you can apply the same button method but I am executing directly from the VBA window. Ok, queries are now hidden. Let's test from another file whether the tables and queries can still be imported. No tables, and no queries here. The other objects will be locked while converting to ACCDE file format. Even after locking out the objects, anyone can copy your database file and use it anywhere. Move on to make your database capable so no one will be able to use it on any other computer except the dedicated one. I created this database a long time ago which I still use today. I am willing to give you the same file as well. What this database is for? This will simply give you the unique serial number of the hard drive which will be locked with your database file. The database will match the exact hard disk serial number at the start of the database and if not matched, it will quit the database. Sometimes, we had to apply database files remotely. You can send this tiny file to someone to apply and note down the serial number to apply to your database. As you can see, I have involved a timeline as well. This is the startup file containing the verification of the serial number and the application will be quit if failed. You can apply your own message before quitting. As you can see, the file is working fine with the correct serial number. Let's make a copy of the database and enter the wrong serial number. The file is not opening now. If you make any mistake in putting the serial number, you will be locked in your database. Now move on to permanently hide or lock the menus, ribbons, and navigation bar. You can also open the login form at the startup using VBA. To change the application icon, I have an icon with a size of 512 pixels.
Next, turn off all these options. Now enable these lines of code. Time to make the ACCDE format file now. That's it, the perfect database application is ready. As you can see the logo changed as well. To change the access startup splash screen, you need to ensure two things. One is a file will be MP format and the second is the name of the image file same as the database. As you notice the official MS Access Startup splash screen has been bypassed with my own image. You can also change the application icon with your own icon as well. Thanks for watching. You can download all the files with the source code from the link given in the description. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. I am waiting for your comments.